Hi hey guys and welcome to part 2 of um, creating your own website. Um, hopefully you've all watched the first part and you're with me in... I don't know what you're all about, but yeah, hopefully you watched the first part and you're all ready to get stuck in for this bit. So um, in this episode what we're going to be doing is taking a look at HTML. So what we're going to say first is I'm going to teach you guys how to just specify a basic page. So what we're going to do is go file save as and then, I'm sorry, I'm my old folder. I'm going to come down to Web Tux and I'm going to call this page home page.html. Right. And then, what I'm also going to do is it's always important to have a really good file structure so you know where all your different documents are, especially when you're building a site. It's just a good practice. So, well, I normally leave all my pages sitting, my HTML pages sitting in the um, main content of the actual folder and then I have subfolders coming off of it so I have like CSS then I have my PHP folder actually no I wouldn't have PHP so because there's loads of different scripts to use I'd use a script folder so it's best to keep everything in um, lowercase because in uppercase on some machines like I think it's Linux it doesn't recognise uppercase when it's looking in the web browser, I um, in the web root folder. So I'll have CSS scripts, JavaScript, um, and then possibly I'd have like a folder for my images, and then I'll have a folder for my um, misc. So that's all like my videos, sounds, and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> so what we're going to do first is in our document. We're going to go and open up our HTML tag. Close that here. And then we're just going to leave a nice gap. So I'm down to line 15. Now to specify the close of a tag, you always follow it with a forward slash. And then we do HTML. And now we've closed it. Um, in HTML you also have a head. And then the head will close. And inside the head you have stuff like your title. And then you have you'll have your links to like your cascading style sheets and all that sort of stuff. And um, I'll run you through that in a moment. <coughs> so um, we're just going to call this um, YouTube Tutorial Home. And a title doesn't actually appear on the page, but it appears in the sort of ribbon at the top. So it will actually give your thing a title rather than saying local host forward slash document forward slash zero zero one blah 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 blah. You don't want all of that. So what we do now, just to test this, is I'll come to my local host and I'm going to go look inside of my websites and I'm going to come to homepage.html and as you can see up here, YouTube Tutorial Home. So that means our document specified correctly and this is specified correctly. So what we're going to do next, I always forget this, so um, one second. <coughs> to get a link to your style sheet you have to specify a following tag link is relative to style sheet and that's a built that's a um, built in sort of function to recognize it the type input is text and css so it, it looks for the text inside of the css sheet and the href href stands for the actual link to get there is equal to main.css but <coughs> because i'm going to be containing it in a css folder it will be css forward slash main.css so what I want to do in my CSS folder is I'm going to create a new document called main.css so it has web types, CSS, main.css if I'm going too fast for you guys let me know in the um, next sort of video whatever <laughs> alright let's get on with this right, so after, always after proceeding the head you proceed with a body and the body tag contains all the content for the website so that's all your divs, all your other, all your other shit, Google, all of that. And then you want to close your body. So basically, as we as we go in, guys, every time you build a page, you want to get your basic structure in place. And in that basic structure, you want to make sure you close everything, because otherwise, that's going to leave you some really nasty debugging bugs later on down the line. So what I always do now is it's up to you guys. You can either work in tables, or you can work in divs. And me personally, I'm, I like to work in divs. Tables just 
Uh, I don't know, I just don't like, just don't like working with them. So, what you do here is you open up your div and you close your div, and then we'll we'll leave, we'll leave a comment to um, sort of so we can re we can recognise what we're doing. So what we do to do a comment is you do open tag and you do exclamation mark dash dash and then you want to put your comment so start a main wrapper and then you want to do dash dash and close tag and then down here we want to do something similar we want to say this again and we're going to go end main, main wrapper this just makes it a lot clearer when you're dealing with um, a really long script because the last thing you want is to have about 500 lines of, of code to go through and you're like shit why where, where does this div start where does this div end so inside of this div every, everything should be contained within inside of this div so inside of this one we want to do a div with an id that's equal to header and the id basically you have id in class and you can specify these in your css sheet to give them properties so they like inherit color they inherit font size they inherit anything you give to them so we want to do that a couple more lines down we're going to go close div and then we just want to comment this go in close header and then I'm, I'm really fussy about doing my coding out blocking out because I'll have open header here just in case I put a lot of content in there and I don't know what to do. So <coughs> we have this. Um, and then inside of this, we're just going to do something really basic. We're going to be saying this uh, welcome to my YouTube tutorial. tutorial. And we're going to contain this inside a paragraph tag, sorry. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go content in front of a header tag because it's the header, isn't it? So, a header tag can be defined by h1, you can do h2, h3, h4, blah blah blah. Just keep going. I think, I think, I don't think there's a cap on it. So, um, yeah, you can just use that as many times as you like. So, when you specify it in CSS, so you have two different headers, but you don't want them both to inherit the same properties, you do a h1 and then you'll have a h2 tag as well. So, um, they will inherit different properties. So, then, um, next thing you want to do is you want to do the div id is equal to main content and you want to do that and then we're just going to code this out saying <coughs> main start main content and code and we're going to close that div and we're going to say end main content and inside of main content what we're going to do is we're going to open a paragraph tag and this is where things get a little bit more tricky because what we're going to do in here is saying hello my name is Alex Sims and I am the new tutorial on how to create your first web page within HTML I shall Bring you through basic principles of HTML elements and show you some basic styling with CSS cascading style sheets. Now, um, another thing I want to tell you quickly is if you if you want to learn how to really get good in P in HTML and stuff um, there's a great website that's called uh, I think W3 Schools I'll just show you that now W3 Schools and literally it's it's amazing I learn I learn loads and loads and loads from this website I come on it quite a lot and um, you have HTML tutorials script tutorials XML server script here, which is like PHP and stuff, and a lot of other stuff. And you can run through this just to like sort of clarify what I'm saying, uh, make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. Obviously, if I am, please tell me. 
I don't think I am, but uh, yeah. And um, <coughs> it really does help you. It really did. It really did help me when I was starting out um, with this. I still. I'm not saying that I'm amazing at this because I'm not by any means. But um, yeah. So uh, you should. You guys should definitely check that out. Um, so now I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm just going to throw in class in here. So the paragraph has a class equal to main para or para content content p content and um, <coughs> this is you don't have, you could give it an ID if you wanted to but I, when I come around to the CSS CSS part of this tutorial I want to show you guys how to um, manipulate the use of class and um, IDs so you can get used to actually bringing them into your coding because if I don't, you're going to be confused when you use class and you're going to be like, how the hell do you specify it? Finally, I'm going to open up my last div and that's going to have an ID of footer. Always use um, double quotes, by the way. And then we're going to close that div. So, so end footer. And we're going to say start. So, How am I doing for time? Uh, 11 minutes. Um, okay, I'm gonna take in the footer. I'm just gonna write. I'm gonna do it as a lot. Lot L I means list. So that will do a bullet point. And this would yeah, this would do a bullet point. So we're gonna say list, and we're gonna say created by Alex Sims. Close L I. Let's do another one. 2011 copyright me the gay but hey ho you only live once okay <coughs> so now we've got uh let's run through this quickly we have our html which opens and then it's here we have a head tag which opens and then it's here and i'm going to indent this one more just so it makes a lot more sense to me for reading it and then our body tag opens and in our body tag we have our div main wrapper which ends at the bottom here and we open up our header and we close our header and inside our header we have a h1 tag we have um, main content and then we end main content here and then we have our footer um, also what's good practice to do is to actually keep ah shit is to keep all elements within your code together like if you know, uh, what should I say I, li I like to leave a couple of spaces between each new div so I know what parts the what part of the content belongs to what part if you know what I mean so here oh shit didn't read through that yeah but um like here my div contents together um for that one this one and this one um and then all of that is contained within there so you can clearly see where the different sort of relationships are and the different blocks and um, HTML reads in precedence so obviously it will read this first so it knows to put the header at the top and it will read this so it knows to put this in the middle and it will read the footer so it knows to put the footer at the bottom so you can, you guys can get um, quite an easy idea of how this will look when it's presented on the screen but if you guys are actually new to PHP you'll run to uh, HTML you'll realize that this won't present um, as I've wrote it here because it's just going to present it in a straight long string and it won't wrap until it gets to the end of the page so to force a new line in HTML there's something called the break tag and that's open tag br close br like this so you have to use that at the end of each line and that will give it wrapping. Now, if you finally refresh this, we have welcome to my YouTube tutorial. Let me know if things blah, 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 by me. And then in my Firebug, we can see that we have these huge divs that stretch the whole of the page. So, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to center this into the middle of the page and making it so it doesn't stick to the left but it sticks to the middle. And um, we'll get rid of the scroll bars and we're going to make it look a bit nicer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.